today I'm going to have a video for you. I'm just showing you my little Valentine's tree that I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to have a video for you uh, with a thrift haul and then we're going to plant up some pots and I'll show you kind of what I've been doing. And um, these are, here's a little sneak peek about the one I've done already. So let's get into this. So I have been at a couple of state sales recently. Let me move this chair back a little. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. So this is a salad bowl and four bowls that need some love. So we're going to sand it. It's pretty big. Sand them and then there's four little bowls that kind of match it. And uh, then I think I'll do some lemon oil maybe on them just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. Take the tags off. What does it say? It's a sit down. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So that's the brand. So that's my first item. And I got these at um, an estate sale. I think I paid $3 for the set. Okay, so here's two little kitcheny items that I found in digging through this estate sale. It's got kind of a nice patina. It's got a little um, circle so you could put some twine or a ribbon or something through it to hang it. And then this adorable enamel teapot in this gorgeous green. It reminds me of um, DIY's Monet Garden or um, Gypsy Girl, Gypsy Green, I think it is. Um, but it's small, here's my hand, and just so cute. With the lid attached, it would just be so adorable with a little plant in it, or just decor sitting on your, on your counter. I found this super cool box with this beautiful picture on it. It's a painting, it's just gorgeous. I haven't cleaned anything up, so this is fresh out of the bags and boxes. And then it's got an inside that needs to be cleaned. I might put some either wallpaper or contact paper in here just to kind of cover that stuff up. And then it's got a mirror. It's just so beautiful. Nice sides, nice patina. It's old. I love stuff like this. Okay, next I've got a nice tablecloth. I love the color. It's not white. It's not cream. It's kind of a taupe color. Um, just really pretty detail. Let me see if I can get my hand in here so you can see that there. it's like all kind of see-through. So you actually could put something under it to bring out a color that maybe you were trying to kind of emphasize. Or it would be beautiful on just a wooden table. And then I got a towel. It just says Happy Holidays. I'm just going to keep it. You know, it's not worth anything. So I'm just keeping that from my stash of towels. Then, let's see if I can get this. There we go. Okay, so this is like a child size pillowcase. Here's the edge. And that's the end of it. So it's really tiny, but just so adorable. You could even just put a pillow in it and put it on your couch. It's so cute. Then we got this doily. I can't wait to soak all these. These are so dirty. But I like the pattern and the texture on it. Then I got this little tablecloth, which I thought was super cute. It's all like stitched. It's like little felt pieces of you know, something like that. They're soft. It's got really cool red trim. And it's got that pattern in each corner. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then unfortunately, I could only find three of these napkins, but I just couldn't leave them. They're so cute. So I got one, two, three. I know there had to be a fourth, but I scoured the cabinet. <laughs> Okay, then I got this adorable little Scandinavian runner made out of burlap and trimmed in like a red burlap. And it's got the same scene on both sides. Just adorable. Then this kind of a sage green, like this beautiful lace. This is a, a square tablecloth. I'm assuming it's like a card tablecloth, but just so beautiful with the trim and this color. 
or spring. Okay, next I've got this beautiful picnic basket with these really cool metal handles in kind of a, it's not even mustard yellow, it's more like a caramel color. In the sun it looks yellow, but it's not. Um, anyways, there's two handles and it opens up. And it's got a little string that keeps it from going backwards. And then it's got this really cool little like tray so you could actually stack a couple things in here it's just held in with these three metal clips and uh, it just lifts out and then uh, you got another layer underneath I, I have to do it with two hands <laughs> but anyways it's just so beautiful great decor or you could use it I love the top the little braiding around the side she's getting a wash for sure so pretty. Okay, next I got this beautiful kind of a gray color crock. It has like, um, I guess, royal blue to navy, kind of a, it, probably in between royal blue and navy. Two stripes, big crock, it's nice. I'm going to put a plant in it, of course, because I'm the plant lady. And then it's got a little nut grinder, which I thought was just so cute with the red handle and the blue stripes. Be awesome for Fourth of July. Oh, it's just so cute. Look at the writing on it. So old. Yeah, I thought this was super sweet. Okay, next is probably one of my favorite little groupings. There's this beautiful, like, chocolate brown transferware pitcher. Oh, it's filthy. <laughs> um... Got this stamp. There we go. And then I got a crystal bride basket. It's got etched flowers in it. It's just beautiful. Very sparkly. Once I put Windex on this, it will like the prisms will really jump out. Then, oh my gosh, I got this tiny little. Let's see if I can get them to focus. He's so tiny, tiny little cast iron dog. Oh, he's really, really, really heavy, but so stinking cute. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these little butter pats. They do have um stamp on the back, but I don't think I can read them. Oh, this one's better. I'm not sure what that says. Anyways, they kind of matched this picture. They were together in the house. So. so that is this adorable little grouping. Okay, here's my next little set of stuff. I bought this spoon. It's a serving spoon. It's pretty big, but I just love the detail on it. I thought it was really, really pretty. It's old. It's super heavy. I don't know what the back says, but yeah, it's just a really nice heavy spoon. I think it's Scandinavian. Then I got a candle snuffer. It's brass. It's got a nice long handle and it's kind of, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's kind of twisty. It's got some patina. It's got some green on it. And then I got this adorable salt and pepper shaker with the holder. I'm actually keeping this I have to wash it, but I just thought it was just so, so sweet. Let me just pick it up. It's got little feet. How can you not love it? Adorable. Then I bought this adorable pair of pictures. I'm going to try and explain it the best I can. So the frame is gold, and then the glass is painted black. Let me see if I can bring it up closer with that gold on it. And then there's a picture in it. And the picture is like, has fabric. Like the trees are fabric. The flowers are fabric. I just thought they were so fun. And it's just kind of like a um, scene. What do you call that when it's like right in a row? But it's a man and lady sitting on a bench. And he's reading her probably poetry. I mean, look at the tree. 
I'm gonna put it down and see if I can get it better. There we go. Her flowers are stitched or whatever. I just did a double take. I was like, oh, wait, is that cross stitch? Like I was so confused, but man, are these cool. And they're pretty little. Um, I haven't measured anything to list it yet, but there's my hand. So I would guess six by seven. Super, super cute. Okay, check these out. These are amazing. They are like a, they're pottery. No markings. This I found out is just food. I saw some on another one. But they're hand painted. Just so cute. I love the shape of them. Little teacups, coffee cups. It's gorgeous. There's four of them. Okay, up next is a little picture, which I just thought was adorable. I don't know what you would put in here. Maybe syrup? I don't know. It's just so stinking cute. And then a brass picture. It's very, picture holder. It's very ornate and super heavy. Look at that, where the picture goes. It's just so beautiful. And then these fun, take them See if I can focus them. Stork scissors, which I just thought was so much fun. I'm keeping these. I'm gonna put them with a ball of twine. I mean, and the screw that holds the two pieces together looks like an eye. I mean, it's just, it's adorable. That was really fun to find. Okay, then I found this beautiful tray needs to be cleaned up but it's just the details are amazing it's got kind of a scalloped edge on it it's kind of just a really cute size I love the flowers then this is a little French honey pot this one I got a good well got really pretty details on it. It's different all the way around. It's hand painted, different flowers. I swear that says mustard de Dijon. Maybe it's a mustard jar. I've never heard of a mustard jar. I thought it was honey with a little place for that. So maybe it's a spoon and you put mustard in it. Makes more sense with the words. <laughs> So that's that. I thought this guy deserved his own screen time because it's just amazing. It's got, it's, it's pewter and it's got a scene that goes all the way around. And it's got these gorgeous handles. Get to focus. There we go. Nope. There it is. And then it's got little baby feet. And inside of it is a Pyrex dish. So it can come out for washing. It says Pyrex on the bottom. I just thought that was super fun. Okay, changing gears a little bit. I got three crossbodies. So this one is leather. It's kind of a nice taupey color. I got the sun out so you can kind of see the exact color that it is. It's got a bunch of pockets on the side, two on this side and then one kind of flat on that side. It's got a nice handle. It's got the bottom where you can kind of sit it up when you got stuff in it. Really nice detail. It's very cute. And then I got this one is another crossbody and it's more of a fabric. One zipper on this side and then a little pocket on this side that zips and then the inside. And then I got this one. And this is also leather. It's very, very, very soft. It's got a snap top. Kind of 
a pattern material on the inside. It's just so beautiful. Let's see if I can find the handle. So there's, there we go. There's gold coming right out of the purse so that links to the little metal ring on the purse and then the rest of it is um, leather. This is kind of a cute detail. You can make it shorter or longer. Really nice purse. So those are three crossbodies that I found. How sweet is this for spring? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can part with this one. It's got scalloped edges, a little bird. It's got kind of an ombre effect, but it's not all the same color. It goes from like a really pretty kind of rose pink to a really pale blue. And then these little scallop tips are touched again with the pink. It's a royal copley. And then there's um, one little hairline crack right here and a couple little flea bite chips that you really don't see. If you put it this way, you'll never see them. I'll show you the bottom. There you go. And it's pretty small, but it's big enough that you could put like a plant in it or whatever. Just so, so cute. Here's another absolutely beautiful bridal basket. It's, um, it's crystal. You can, oh, it's just so pretty. It's got this nice detail on the side. Huge chunky handle. It's just amazing. Nice cut. It's even got this sweet like detail down this edge that kind of makes it sparkle too. This is heavy. Oh my goodness, it's very heavy. It's a pretty good size. I mean, it's pretty substantial. It's big, but it would be so sweet like with Easter eggs in it. Ugh, adorable. Okay, this one might be one of my favorites. My grandma was um, came over from Norway and this is a coffee pot and it says Varsa good, which means the coffee's good. And uh, it's just total Scandinavian design. Really sweet size. Let me see if I can get the lid. The lid kind of matches with the spout. This is my hand to kind of give you an idea. Double-sided double pattern. It's just super, super sweet. Needs to be washed desperately. I just love it. Okay, next I found these beautiful kind of, I don't know if that's an iris top. I don't know. Just different. Really, really, really pretty. And it comes with a battery-operated candle. These are real wax. I can feel it. And then you just pop your batteries in the bottom. And then you just click it and it'll come on. I don't think, I think this needs batteries. But it's so beautiful. These candles alone are like, oh, I looked them up online a while ago at Amazon. I think they're $15 for the set of two. It's ridiculous. But yeah, these are super pretty. Nice shape to them. Really, really heavy, thick glass. These will make somebody very happy. Okay, next I found this beautiful shoe shine kit. It's just a really cool old box. Great for decorating, great for shelf styling, on a fireplace. It's a good size. Had a little opener. Just nice wood, nice detail. This one deserves its own chair. <laughs> it's got this beautiful, like a basket weave on it. And it's got kind of a vine of flowers. There's absolutely no chips on this. It's just so pretty. It's really heavy. No markings. But I just love it. I love the color. I love the darker green settled in the weaves of the basket and in the insides of the flowers. It's just gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Here's my hand, so it's pretty big. Okay, and then last up is this really fun sewing kit. I left everything in here like it is, so I, we could kind of go through it together. It's a spool of 
little string. Then there's, what are these? This one is disgusting. I'm going in the garbage. But there's rolls of, or spools of thread. Let's see what else we got. Oh, some thimbles, which are so fun. Little bobby pins, safety pins, that kind of stuff. There's wooden knitting needles. This should be the end of this one. It's got the hook. And these are, that's crochet, and then these are knitting. So sweet. Round elastic cord. 15 cents. Just the advertising and the packaging on that is just so, so, so cute. Look at these old safety pins. Good lord. That's upside down. Let's get this. Is. Protector guarded coil safety pins. They're steel. I'm going to have to wipe that off. Ugh. What's this? Red Heart mending tape, mending string. Look, free cobwebs. Really old measuring tape. I made a cloth. Some more spools of thread. Let's see what's under here. There's the inside. Looks like a little napkin in the bottom. There's two metal embroidery hoops, an oval one and a one. In the world. Okay. We have what can, there we go. A buffalo on a string. A goat on a string. A another buffalo. And an elephant. Interesting. Take this out. I'm gonna. I can't just dust this. I'm gonna have to squirt it. But it's just a really nice old box with the top on. It's just so cute. I'm gonna stick this stuff back in. I'll give you an overall view. There was some random stuff in here. So that's what it looks like. It's all put together. It's big too. Here's my hand. I mean, it's big and I have bigger hands. So, yeah, that's really sweet. So that's it for the haul. Um, I think we will start, I want to plant some planters, um, and show you kind of how to put some flower arrangements together and kind of the process that you go through to do that. So let me get set up for that and we'll plant some plants. Okay. So we're going to plant <clears throat> some planters. I got, this is just from Goodwill. It's melon, melon, mine, um, platter. So I'm just putting it under here because I don't want dirt everywhere. Um, but this is a solid clay Mexican pottery. I found them on Facebook and they come actually from Mexico. It's pretty, big. this one's the large one. And I love the bone color on it. It's got variation, it's just really pretty. Then this one is the medium size. And it's I love this caramel color. It'll match in my um, living room perfectly because I have a lot of this kind of color. Um, so let's do this first white one and then um, we'll go from there. So first I'm going to put some of these white rocks into the bottom just for, you know, to help with drainage. It's got a drainage hole, but I like to put pebbles and rocks and that kind of stuff. I actually got these rocks um, and then some like river rocks from the estate sale that I got all this other stuff. You know how they have, when you walk in the front door, they have a um, built-in planter, the older homes. Well, these were filling that, and the guy, we were talking, and I was telling him I had to go, I buy the glass beads at Dollar Tree, or the glass, little flat stones or whatever. 
and I was telling him how I had to go get some. He said, wait, if it doesn't matter, you can take these rocks. I'm like, oh, done. So he gave me all these rocks for free. He dug them out of the planter. <laughs> so, okay, let's do, I think I'm just going to use this little pitcher because it's filthy anyways. Get some dirt. And then we'll start to fill this up. Oh, what is that? Oh, that wasn't dirt. It was fuzz. Nice. Um, okay. So I'll fill this up probably about um, maybe a little over halfway. Not quite three quarters, but a little over half. And then uh, we'll place our plants and uh, I'll show you what I do with the roots. And then we can top it with dirt and water it. I probably won't show watering it on my channel just um, because I need to uh, be by a sink and I don't want to carry this in there. So, okay, we're getting there. This is really good potting soil. This is, um, I used to buy the miracle Grow in the green bag, but when I was at Lowe's, I was talking to like a plant guy that no actually knows what he's doing and not just working there. And he told me that the miracle Grow that's in the blue bag is better for potting. So I've been using the blue bag and had real, I've really had good, good success, good growth. Um, you know, of course I fertilize once a month as well, but okay, that may be one more scoop because it always goes down when you water it. All right, let's get this in there. I might not use this whole scoop, we'll see. Oh yeah, I think I can. Okay, I'm going to go grab the plants. Okay, so here's the plants I'm going to put in here. And I purposefully left um, a big area here because I like to put something in my planters that's like a kind of a focal point. Um, in some, I have like little ducks, frogs, um, but I really like that. So I'm kind of following the rules of thriller, filler, spiller. Um, so I got a trailing one kind of coming off the side. Got this big guy in the back. He's huge. Well, you know, huge for this planter. And then I got some different variants of kind of some stripes. I thought that was going to look nice all together. So since I can't plant with one hand, I'm going to plant this and then um, I'll show you what I did. Okay, so here it is. They're all in the planter. Did a little spring touch with the bunny. Here's my trailer. And my striped ones. I just love this. I just love this bunny. Let me stand back so you can see. That's her. That's all planted and done. So I'm going to do the little brown one. I'll, I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so I got the rocks and the dirt in the little brown one. And... These are the plants I'm going to put in this one. It's going to be so cute. So I'll plant that up and then you can see what it looks like all done. Okay, this is how this one turned out. Obviously, I have to wash off the edges. What do you think of this bird? Should I leave it silver or paint it white or gold? Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about that. And then I would love to hear feedback on how you think um the channel's going and if there's any content that, that you would like i'm going to cook in the upcoming months and then i'm going to also be planting a garden so that will be really fun okay this is it for today i look forward to seeing you guys another time when i post another video have a great week